No, because Gopananda Bon Maharaj just arrived in the moment I mentioned ayahuasca. So, uh, I, I want, this is like uh, confirmed. Uh, people think that they can take some, some drug and become enlightened. Oh, how good would it be if it's true? I think we all be taking ayahuasca and getting enlightened. Huh? So, but it's not true. Ceremonial plants and this thing, to reality, it's part of Ayurveda to a certain degree. As a matter of fact, Ay ayahuasca is a first-class diuretic. <laughs> yes? And it, it is a powerful plant, undoubtedly, and there are so many powerful plants there, Datura and so on. So there's plants that are much more powerful than ayahuasca. Some of them can kill you right away. Huh? Because it's called poisonous plants, you know? Others uh, create certain states of consciousness where you like really feeling out of it. Huh? So, ayahuasca in the level of medicine does have some applications for the medicine, for the medicine, for the doctor who is the natural past do doctor, and it is between them and the patients where there are sometimes some diseases which it can be helpful. But what happened to the ayahuasca, people think, I'll get enlightened, is a complete nonsense. It's very dangerous. Many people have died on ayahuasca. Many people have even become murderers on ayahuasca. I, do, I know two cases personally where people under ayahuasca have murdered others because they go so out if they lose everything they, they they lose a notion of what they do not do so should be very cautious you go to to Ecuador or to Colombia many people go there just thinking oh I will get the doses and then I become enlightened it will be so easy and then I can go back and make money by taking the doses to others no that is uh, the second you become the the carrier of this put his chair for for Krishna Nanda Acharya. Yes, then put the chair there. Um, so is there is no plant which gives you enlightenment. I can guarantee you that. This is not. But you may, un under the influence of a plant, realize something. Of course, life is full of realizations, you know. And sometimes a plant may also give you some kind of realization. And you can also get that same realization without the plant. So it is not. God cannot be obtained by taking any type of anything, except the holy name in the humble state of mind praying like Mahaprabhu says in his Shikshastakam that we can connect with the Divine and stay with the Divine and all this. Anyhow, now Gopananda Bon Maharaj has come, so uh, this is our last day. So I don't know, we're going to have more classes today. We're going to try to make the best out of this last day. Also, our Gopananda Bon Marsh is going today to Vienna. We are preparing his journey to Colombia, which is hopefully coming through. He has, poor guy has to present himself to the Colombian embassy. I mean, that's a, that's a joke, no? You have to present yourself to be approved by the Colombian embassy, where the, a, a pure devotee of Krishna can visit Colombia. I mean, bureaucracy is, is a kind of a karmic torture we, we are going through. Anyhow, uh, 
We hope it works out and he'll be in Colombia in a few days. And the devotees in Colombia, who are very wonderful devotees, will be able to get the darshan of our president of Vishwabhaish Navarat Shaba and the most wonderful devotee, example, example of humility, example of, of learned, of Jai Sisi Guru Guranga Radha Gopi Balava Ki Jai. An example of learnedness, Naishtika Brahmachari, all life dedicated to Guru and Krishna. So, very lucky. So, we also wish we can take this to Colombia. That's why this effort was done, because I tell you, for Kopakanda Balmash to go on a journey to other countries, this is not an easy thing. This is not something which just can happen. It can only happen because Lord Krishna wanted it to happen. Otherwise, it would never have happened. As a matter of fact, Srila Puri Maharaj never traveled outside of India. Srila Sridhar Maharaj never traveled outside of India. But his guru did go outside of India. He went to many places. So, Mahaprabhu's message is for the whole world. Prithiviti achiyate nagaradi gram sarvatra prachara hoyubimuranam. Bharata bhumile hoyle manusya janma jara janma sataka korikara para upakara. So this is the para upakara business here. We are doing everything possible to heal the world by giving them the greatest of all transcendental love messages. Those transcendental love messages which Chaitanya and Nityananda Prabhu have brought to us and by that mercy we get Sadhu Sangha. So just in case you travel before, before we have the next class, the next meeting where we can sit so nicely like in this fresh morning, I want to give you the hug of my heart, the prayer of your well-being, the uh, the efforts we can make that we can do what Lord Chaitanya wants us to do. I keep begging you. I keep offering you all the things my Guru gave to me. I can only strongly emphasize and strongly recommend them. They are the Namahata products of Sri Nityananda's Namahata market, which we are promoting worldwide for the benefit of all. So, again, all glories to the assembled devotees who have come from so far. A week is not enough time to hear, to exchange, to share. It's just compressed intensively in between of the different times of the day. Srila Gopananda Bon Maharaj come here every day and give us this morning enlightenment. So today also we have last chance to hear his words on this visit to Hungary. Who knows what come in the future? That only he knows and Krishna knows. But uh, we can only say from Hungary, from Germany, from Europe, all the thanks to His Divine Grace, Srila Gopananda Bon Maharaj, for taking His time and to simply sharing His Guru Seva memories and Prachar with us so that uh, Krishna Consciousness will spread through all of you, wherever you go, whatever you do. Hare Krishna. <laughs>